Hello little angels! Today we are going to focus on some very important reading comprehension skills that we greatly focus on and talk about in every single story. So let us begin. We will first start with the story elements. The story elements are the pieces or the ingredients that when we put together we make up a story. Okay? Now the story elements consist of the characters, the setting, problem solution and the plot which is the beginning middle and end okay now today's lesson is super fun because i used a story that i'm sure most of you know in order to explain the story elements can you guess which story or movie i used think hmm it's a really nice movie that has a moral or a theme. It's the Lion King story. Okay, now, in the characters, it is the creatures, animals, or people in the story or the movie. Now, we should only focus on the major or the main characters in a story or a movie. Because if we mention all the characters, the reader is going to feel confused and it will make our story complicated. Okay? So the major characters in The Lion King were Simba, Nala, and Scar, which is the bad lion in the movie. Where did the movie take place? Or where did the events take place? Well, the setting is the time and the place where the story occurs. In The Lion King, the events took place in the Pride Lands and mainly on the Pride Land Rock, okay, as you can see in the image. Now, the Pride Land isn't a real place. However, this is how they refer to it in the movie, okay? So again, the setting is the time and the place where the story occurs. In The Lion King, the story took place in the Pride Lands. Now, let us move on to the plot. The plot is the events that make up the story. It consists of the beginning, middle, and end. So what happened in the beginning of the movie? In the beginning, Scar executes his plan and uses Simba as unknowing bait to lure Mufasa into a wild beast stampede. Scar personally kills Mufasa, which is Simba's father, and convinces Simba that Simba caused his death. Scar tells him, run away and never return. Simba believes him and exiles himself. Okay? So, to summarize what happened in the plot or in the beginning, is that uh, Mufasa gets killed by his brother, Scar. Okay? And he convinces Simba that he was the reason behind his father's death. Okay? When in fact, it was Scar who killed Mufasa, his brother. Now, what happened in the middle? Scar takes over the Pride Lands to become the king. After years of escaping Simba's pain with his new friends, Timon and Pumbaa, Simba is still haunted by his past. He thinks and thinks about what happened in the past, and he tries to run away from it. Rafiki divines that Simba is alive. He finds him and leads him to a reflecting pool to show him that his father, Mufasa, lives in him. There, a vision of Mufasa in the clouds reminds him, remember who you are. Rafiki follows up with a quick lesson on how to move beyond the pain of the past by learning from it instead of running from it. Simba shifts into proactively heading back to save the Pride Lands. Okay? So over here, Simba needed a little encouragement that he is capable of getting over the past, moving on, and returning to the Pride Lands in order to rule it and become king. Now, what happened in the end of the movie? Scar's gloating confession about killing Mufasa enrages Simba, who overpowers him and de demands he confess to the pride, okay? With the pride consists of the lions and lionesses. The pride does battle against Scar and the hyenas. Eventually, Scar gets killed by the hyenas and Simba takes his place 
as the rightful king. So they get rid of Scar and Simba becomes the king. What a happy ending. Okay, now, what was the main problem in the story? Young Lion Prince is born in Africa, thus making his uncle Scar the second in line to the throne. And this drove Scar crazy because he wanted to rule the Pride Lands and become the king. Scar plots with the hyenas to kill King Mufasa and Prince Simba, thus making himself king. The king is killed by Simba. Uh, sorry, and Simba is led to believe by Scar that it was his fault and so flees the kingdom in shame. So the main problem in the movie was that uh, Mufasa gets killed by his brother and Simba flees the kingdom and leaves it for a very long time. What was the solution? The solution was that Nala finds Simba and convinces him to return to the Pride Lands with, of course, the help of Rafiki. After a fierce battle between Scar and Simba, Scar admits that he killed Mufasa. Simba ends up sparing Scar's life, but Scar is then attacked by the hyenas and gets killed. Simba takes his place in the Lion King as the Lion King and everyone lives happily ever after. So Simba becomes the king of the Pride Lands. Now, what lesson did we learn from this movie? What is the moral or theme of the movie? The theme was that the Lion King teaches us that we can overcome any challenge in life. And if we don't let worries overwhelm us, of course. We also learned that it is okay to make mistakes. We should face them and not run away from them. Moreover, Simba makes amazing relationships throughout his journey that help him guide to be the lion he eventually grows up to be. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, sweethearts.